Welcome. This is Beth Jones at BethJones.net, and I'm so glad that you're here, and I am going to hide that video panel so it won't be in the way of the PowerPoint tonight. And I am Beth Jones at BethJones.net, and my Amazon author page is Amazon.com forward slash author forward slash Beth M. Jones. And you may be watching the replay later, but I just want to welcome you. Hope you're staying safe and warm. When did you first realize that you wanted to be a writer and or a speaker? That's a picture of a Tiffany blue colored journal. When I was a child, I had a little diary with the lock and key like that. And I just loved it. And that really just started my writing career, writing in that diary. So when you were a child, did you imagine that one day you would be writing or speaking, teaching? What did you want to be when you grew up? And you see there the little girl writing in her notebook with the big stuffed animal on the left-hand side and the cute little girl on the right holding a microphone. Well, when I was younger, I wrote fiction stories and then I would stuff the papers into the drawer of my dresser and my sister Maria would come in there and find them and read them and I would get so mad that she had violated my privacy and I hadn't finished the story yet. And we would fight and pull each other's hair and scream at each other. But today, Maria is one of my biggest fans. And that's a picture of my beautiful sister, Maria, on the right side. She is my best friend. And I love her so much. And I'm so thankful for her. She's also one of my prayer warriors. As for speaking, God practically had to drag me into it. I used to be so scared to speak in front of people. And I would physically shake. And I would sweat and I would feel like I was going to faint. And now I absolutely love it, especially live speaking. So if you know someone that needs a speaker, please have them contact me at my website at BethJones.net. I just love it. What was your favorite story as a child? And think back to when you were younger, what did you love to read? Well, when I was younger, some of my favorite books to read were Nancy Drew and Trixie Belton Mysteries, and I love going to the library. I could not believe that you could go to this building and get free books to read, and I also love going to Dairy Queen for an ice cream cone, and that picture right there is making me want ice cream even though it's freezing outside, but I just love reading. So how many books do you have in your house right now? Probably like me, too many. Who is your favorite author and why? Who is your favorite speaker? Who is your book hero or heroine? And what author or speaker would you like to mentor you? And my business coach, Diane, did an exercise with us. I think it was last week. And she had us think of a mentor's table. And I'd never heard of this before, but it was so powerful. And she said, just picture in your mind a table. It can be your dining room table, a picnic table, a blue table like my friend Judy had in Alaska with all the neighbors coming over to get together. It could be like a Japanese style table, but any table you want. It could be beautiful. It could be small or big. And who would be around your mentor's table? Who in your life would you want to mentor you in writing and speaking in your marriage and parenting in your life, in your business? And she said, just close your eyes and think a minute. And for me personally, it would be Jesus sitting at the table, my best friend Maria, who is my sister Maria, my daughters Heather and Leah, Joyce Meyer, who is one of my favorite speaker and authors, Beth Moore, she's another Bible teacher. And my coach, Diane Cunningham Ellis, and then some of my closest friends also. So who would be at your table? Who would you like to mentor you and to ask any question at all? I want to ask you today, why do you want to write and speak? Hold on. <laughs> Got to catch up here. Hold on. Why do you want to write and speak? You love to write and speak, and there's no wrong answers here. To make a lot of money, to become famous. You want to tell your story or someone else's 
powerful story. Or maybe you want to leave, leave a legacy to your children and your grandchildren or to your friends. You just want to leave a mark here on earth, your words here forever. Or you want to teach or preach using your spiritual gifts. So you fill in the blank. Why do you want to write and speak? There is no other feeling in the whole world than seeing your name on that book cover. And when I got this book in the mail, it's my first book that I wrote and published, Walking with God, I was so happy because finally my name was on that cover. It had been my dream for years to write a book and get my name on the cover. And you can do this too with eBooks for Kindle. There's no feeling in the world like it or seeing your name on the program where you're going to be the speaker whether that's a workshop speaker, the main presentation speaker, or whatever. There is just no other feeling like it, using your gifts and talents and skills for God. So one of the funnest things to do as an author is book signings. And there I am. I've got a, I haven't done a lot of these, but I've done several, and they are so fun. And there I am on the right-hand side at the top, doing a book signing with this book, Walking with God, with my friend LaToya Gay. And LaToya, uh, if you follow her on Instagram or Facebook, she's been doing keto with her husband and she has lost a ton of weight. She looks amazing. But I was signing my book when I spoke on Tony Robinson's, um, her conference on a cruise ship in the Bahamas. So LaToya bought my book, Walking with God, and I, I signed the book for. Her. And then there on the right-hand side at the bottom is a book signing that I did in Arizona when I spoke there in Arizona at a women's conference. And I believe that was actually my, first, my very first book signing, but I was so happy. It is so cool to be able to do book signings. There on the left with the purple table with my books on there and my chocolates. Um, also, you see the poster in the middle with my books on the poster. I did a book signing at the Carpenter's Cut, which is a Christian bookstore here in Butler, Missouri. And those are so fun. So imagine how you would feel doing your book signing. With the profit from selling 7,700 copies of my book, Walking with God, I was able to fly my precious daughter, Leah, and me to Ireland. I've been praying to go to Ireland for years. And from the sale of that book, of this book, Walking with God, to a company called God's Glory Box, I was able to buy our tickets for a week. And we went over there, I rented a car, and we stayed at different Airbnbs all throughout Ireland. And it is just amazing. It is so beautiful. And there's Leah on the left at the Cliffs of Moher. And she's on a ferry boat in the middle picture. And there she and I are at the Cliffs of Moher. And there she is by one of the beautiful waterfalls there. It is so green there. Waterfalls, mountains, hills, flowers. It is so gorgeous. And that was just a big dream come true. And I've got my cup here that I got just for this webinar, Dream Big. And I just love it. It's one of my favorite expressions. But God wants you to dream big. He is a dream giver and the dream fulfiller. I never had any idea God was going to do something for me like this. It is the biggest thing that has ever happened to me as a author and a speaker, and I pray that he does it again. Leah and I would like to go back. God has also taken me to some amazing places to speak all around the world, giving me incredible opportunities for him. I've spoken in Manitoba, Canada at my friend Doreen Penner's Women's Conference, Port-au-Prince, Haiti, when my husband Ray went there on a, another mission trip. He's gone several times to do missions in Haiti for our friend, Pastor Jay Threadgill. And I was able to speak to a class there about um, being filled with the spirit, the Bahamas, Tony Robinson's Women's Conference, and Kenya, Africa. I was asked by a pastor to come there to speak at a women's three-day conference. I spoke all three days and the fire of God fell. It was amazing. I have spoken many more places. You can see there at in the bottom <clears throat> in the bottom picture, I have a translator because I don't know how to speak in African languages. But remember this slide. 
Your story can change the world and God can do the same with you as he has done with me and he can do so much more. Usually writing and speaking go hand in hand, like hands in a glove. You can see the woman wearing her warm furry gloves, her furry mittens there. We need those right now, right? I'm praying for everyone in Texas and across the United States in this cold, snowy, icy weather, praying their power is quickly restored. But writing and speaking usually go hand in hand, not always, but many times they do. These are some of my former clients. Maybe you want to write a book or you want to speak or you want to do something different with them. This is Dana R. Curry. She is a speaker, author, wellness coach, and a YouTuber. And my former client, Stephanie M. Corder, she is an author, a speaker. She is a Bible study leader, ministry leader, and now she is starting a podcast and she's really excited about that. So Dana, she was so scared to start writing and speaking, and I helped her to write her first book. And she is now the author of five books and a contributor to an anthology. She is a speaker at women's conferences and online events, and she is a YouTuber with over 6,000 subscribers. Her videos have had thousands of views, and one of her videos had over 25,000 views. Amazing. God has done incredible things in her life. It's been a joy to watch her through this journey. She has just taken off like a rocket. She's an amazing anointed speaker and author. And this is my client, Stephanie M. Carter. Same for her. She's amazing, godly woman. Um, she was so scared to write her first book, so scared to step out speaking, especially on videos. And she has now written four books. Stephanie has so many ideas for books. It is just incredible how many book titles and topics that God has given her. She does a teachable class where she is teaching her books on a membership site. And she is a speaker. And now she is stepping out to do this podcast. And I'm really excited for her. God began to confirm to her this year through numerous people to start her podcast. And I know it's going to be good. Here's some more clients that I have had or people that have attended my writing and speaking retreats that have written their books and now they're speaking and they've got more book ideas. Missy Hoffman, Elizabeth Zacharias, and Judy Levine. So I would encourage you to look for their books on Amazon and find them on Facebook to make friends with them. They're amazing women of God, anointed women of God. So what are your big dreams? And remember my cup, dream big. And it's got the world map on it because I love to travel and I want to go all over the world. That's my big dream. My, my loves are Jesus, my family, and traveling. <laughs> I also love my cat, <laughs> Natalia. You'll see me post about her on Facebook. But what are your big dreams? What are the dreams that you had as a child? Maybe you feel like I, I'm not dreaming anymore. I don't want to dream anymore. The dreams have been taken out of me because of the virus, lockdowns, the violence, all this election chaos. You just feel like you're like a deflated balloon. But God wants to give you hope again. He wants to give you those dreams. He wants you to start dreaming again. And maybe those dreams include writing your book or speaking, whether that's speaking at on stage. And, you know, a lot of us have had to go online now virtually because speaking venues have been shut down due to the virus and lockdowns. Maybe it's doing webinars like this, videos on YouTube or live streaming on Facebook, YouTube and other places or podcasting like Stephanie wants to do. What are your big dreams? God is a dream giver and the dream fulfiller. So I want to present to you tonight my new program, Your Dreams Can Come True, How to Write Your Book Fast, Virtual Training. And this is for Christian speakers and writers to share your story and your heart's message. It is eight self-paced modules, short videos and lessons, a weekly live Zoom session, and a free copy of my book, How to Write Your Book Fast, Making Your Writing Dreams Come True. This will be an ebook for your Kindle. So I also have not found anywhere else bonuses.
It'll take just a minute for you to see all that this contains. I've never done anything like this before. This is brand new. I have taught at writers and speakers retreats in person. I did a writers and speakers retreat two times here in Butler. It was several ladies coming and only had four bedrooms, so I couldn't have a whole bunch of people there, but I had it there. Also spoke at my friend Missy Hoffman's workshop in Hutchinson, Kansas. And then this past year, I had a virtual retreat teaching the things that are in this book, how to write your book fast. And I did that with Missy Hoffman and Elizabeth Zacharias. So this is brand new. I've never had it all in one place. It is going to be on a platform online, Member Vault, all together. And you can do it at your own pace, whether you want to go you know, fast like a racehorse or turtle slow, whatever your pace is. If you're in between, you will do it self-pace. And like I said, short videos, short lessons. And you'll, you'll also get bonuses. So I wanted to give you an early bird special. You are the first to hear about this. It is all eight modules and bonuses for just $47 when you use the coupon code BLESSED. And that will be for five days. You'll have that coupon opportunity for five days. On February 23, the price then goes up to $77. And then the doors close February 29th at midnight. So I want to encourage you to go ahead and get the $47 early bird special. Use the coupon code BLESS. And then you'll still have five more days after that if you somehow miss it or you need more time to get money to, to buy this program, the doors will close February 29th. And there you can see the link. It is https colon slash slash refreshingwaters.vipmembervault.com. Again, that is refreshingwaters.vipmembervault.com. And I really pray that you will join me and other aspiring authors and speakers. It has been such a joy to see my former clients write their first book and then go on to write other books and just having that passion to tell their story and make a difference. You know, you don't have to write a novel, although one of my former clients, Elizabeth, actually she's a current client sometimes, she is now writing her novel. She's been working on it a while. She, I helped her to write her first book, Created to Rest. Um, but you can also write short Kindle eBooks. I've written several of those and those do very well on Amazon. You can write a cookbook for your kids. I did that when my daughters were moving out of the house. We have three beautiful daughters, Heather, Eden, and Leah. When they moved out, I had typed them up a cookbook. Now, was it a hard cover book like that? No, but it was still a book. But you can get your family legacy books, your the history of your family, genealogy, like my, my dad does a lot of genealogy research on our family. You can get that on Amazon. You can start writing stories, fiction stories. I started out as a writer writing fiction stories in my bedroom when I was a child. And I never thought I would do that. For years and years, my husband Ray and our daughter Leah told me, mom, you should write a fiction book. And I was like, I don't know how to write a fiction book. And Ray said, well, you didn't know how to write nonfiction either, but you did it. I mean, I started with this one, Walking with God. Now I've written 21 books and I'm still writing. And then, like I said, God dragged me into speaking and I love it. How did I write all those books? How did I, a lot of people ask me that question. How do you write books so fast? And how did you write all those books? My secret sauce is in this book, which is available for sale on Amazon. But if you want to dive deeper, you can take this program because I tell you all about my secret sauce how I've gotten all these books written. I give you my formula. I give you the resources I use, the people I hire, because I'm not able to draw. I'm not able to do pictures like this, do the front and back cover and the spine. These I hired people for. I share with you the people I hired to help me to write my books. I tell you what I use to get the books written. I use a template. I now have it down to a formula and I have a secret sauce. So you find out all about that 
in my writing and speaking program where I encourage you, I inspire you, I motivate you to share your heart's message, to tell your story and write your story. I believe God's given all of us gifts to be used for his kingdom, his glory. And so I want to encourage you to become and be all that God created you to do and be. So I pray this encourage you today. Again, get that coupon with the coupon code BLESS. It'll be just $47. And on February 23rd, the price goes up to $77. And the doors finally close February 29th. That link again is refreshingwaters.vipmembervault.com. So I pray that you will take advantage of that. If you have any questions at all, you can contact me at my website at betjones.net. You can also check out the other books I've written at amazon.com forward slash author forward slash Betham Jones. And I just want to close with a prayer right now for you and for me. God, I just thank you so much for technology like Zoom, where we can do webinars and we can share your message with other people. We can connect with people even people across the world, people that we don't know, God. And I thank you for that. I thank you for the tools that you have given us for your glory. And now, God, I pray that whoever needs to join this program, this new program I have for writers and speakers, I ask in the name of Jesus that you would give them the courage and also the financial provision to sign up and by this, and God, that you would help them as they work through each module, the eight modules. I ask God that you would bless them, you would bless their family, you would bless them with divine help and protect them and my family, all of us from the virus and any other diseases. You would keep our immune system strong. I ask God for your blessings financially upon us and our family. I ask God that you would help us to grow and mature in Christ through our faith in you, Jesus, and that we would use all the gifts you've given us for your glory to the utmost. Also pray, God, that you would keep people safe in this winter storm here with our family and across Missouri and across Texas and across the United States. God, please restore the power quickly, help the electrical and emergency workers as they work night and day to help, Give our nation's leaders wisdom, and God just protect us all from the enemy's devices. God, let us live our lives in glory of you to bring a smile to your face to please you. I ask all these things in Jesus' name, and I pray you would bless the listener or the viewer. Amen. When this is Beth at BetJones.net, be blessed and have a beautiful day, and I am going to end this now, and this recording will be going out to my easing website list. So I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.